All right, hello everybody. My name is Sputnik, and today I want to do a little tutorial on Pixlr. This is the web app that I use to make all of my thumbnails and my logo and my banner and all that stuff. It's basically a light version of Photoshop. You get some of the same elements. You can't do as crazy of stuff. Uh, but if you're just looking to make stuff for YouTube, like thumbnails and banners and whatnot, this is a really good free tool. I will put a link in the description if you want to check it out. But anyway, this is going to be how to add an image to text, like I did right here. And I know that might be kind of hard to see, but basically what I did was I put a yellow grunge picture over the word remastered to try to match to the word borderlands with that cell shaded sort of style they do. So anyway, let's jump into it. Go ahead and once you get to the screen, hit open Pixlr editor, continue with Pixlr. In my case, you're gonna hit a allow. Now once you get to this, you're going to create a new image. These presets here are really going to, to they're only gonna matter depending on what you're using. So if, you want, if you're gonna make a, a logo, you might wanna do like 1000 by 1000, right? In my case, I typically use this for thumbnails, so you just want to do 720. 1280 by 720 is what most thumbnails, or not most thumbnails, this is what you should make thumbnails out of. Make sure you hit transparent. Okay, here we are. I'm just going to get this set up to my liking, just so I can see everything a little better. All right, on layer zero here, this is going to be your background. You want to come over here to the paint bucket. I've already got black selected down here. Make the background black. All right. Go back up to your move tool. So you're deselected. Now to your type tool. You're going to type whatever you want. In my case, I'm just going to put Sputnik because that is me. And this is just an example video. Change your color to white. I kind of went through that quickly right here. Color, white. Okay. Change the size. This will stop getting big right around 250 or so. So what you wanna do is make it as big as it'll get, about 250, hit okay, and then come over to here and hit rasterize layer. Did you catch how that made it a little smaller? Now, if you don't rasterize your layer, let's say I'm making a thumbnail and I want this uh, right here in the center of the top, about right there and I don't rasterize it and I save this, when I upload this to YouTube, the thumbnail is actually gonna show this, like let's say like over here. So when you rasterize your layer, wherever you put this is exactly where it's gonna be when you save it. So anyway, let's go to edit, free transform. Let's make this a little bit bigger, just for the example. This, is <laughs> this should just be my thumbnail for this video, just Sputnik. But anyway, if you ever wanna deselect from what you have on, just click over here. Yes, just click on this move tool here. It'll deselect whatever you're doing. Now, over here on the right side with layers, right click on your text layer and hit, where are we at? Flatten image. What that did was it, as you can see, it added my text layer to my background. This is all one layer now. So the next step is going to be to choose an image to put over your text. So let's go over here to Google. Since we're using Sputnik, I suppose we'll just do um, like a space theme background. Oh, these are like cartoony. What's going on? Well, let's just say this right here for some reason. So just save that. I save stuff to like my external hard drive. The easiest is just to save it to your desktop. Easy to find. Go back to Pixlr. Go to Layer. Open images layer and find your picture that you just saved. Don't mind all my crazy stuff I use for thumbnails. That's not it. This right here. Boom. All right. So you want this layer above your background layer with your text. You want it to be over it. So come down here to layer settings and change the opacity just, just about like 80 or so, just so you can see your text. Okay, now we're gonna go to edit, free transform, and we're gonna change the size of this. So it's about where we want it, about right there. I want that like, light coming through. That's about where I want it. Okay, actually, edit, 
Let me redo that real quick. I apologize. I was trying. <laughs> I was trying to pull. Oh nope. Nope. Okay, right there. Now, now that you have this, uh, you're done. There you go, guys. That is uh, an image over text. <laughs> no, I, I'm just joking around. Uh, after this, you want to select your background layer once again. Come over here to the magic wand tool, or W, if you want to use hotkeys, and just select the background. Now, at this point, you have one of two options. You can clear the background and keep the image over the text, and then you're also gonna have to do this little sliver here. An easy way to just do that right away, if you hold down shift, see how right underneath the magic wand tool, it has a plus sign. It basically adds anything to what you've already selected. If I just click, it's gonna deselect what I already have. So, hold down shift, Click right there. Now I also have the inside of my P selected. Sometimes you might get lucky and you might not have uh, a lot of stuff to select. Sometimes you'll have a ton of stuff to select. Anyway, just hold down shift. You'll be able to select whatever you want. From here, stay selected on your background. Hit the eraser tool. Come up here and change your brush to bigger. All right, now all you're going to do is erase the background. I screwed that up as you can see. But don't worry, if you screw anything up, just hit Control Z, get rid of everything, and <laughs> you wanna be selected on your actual background layer. Sorry about that. Go back to your eraser and just erase that background. Boop, 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 boop. Nice and pretty. Now you're probably thinking, Sputnik, uh, that looks awful. Just wait. Now, you can see that I still have the magic wand tool on here. All you wanna do is go back to your magic wand, right click and hit deselect all. There we go, just have my text. Now you can leave it just like that, but what I like to do is come back over here and change my opacity back up to 100. You can change the opacity to where it's barely showing, like 60. I like to change it back up to 100. From here, you're basically done. And what you can do from here is you can actually save this as a PNG. Because obviously if you're gonna use this for projects or a thumbnail, you don't want the black background. So the easiest way to get rid of that black background is just save it as a PNG. Let's do this real quick. <laughs> I'll just save it here. And then if you're in a new project, let's just open a new image here. Let's do 720, transparent. All right, if you're in a new project, all you gotta do is do layer, open images layer, find your text, do, 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 do. Sputnik, hit the magic wand tool, click the background, add the middle of the P, and hit delete. Boom. All you gotta do is deselect all, hit your move tool to get rid of that, might have to go back and forth a couple times. Do, 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 deselect all. There we go. And there you go. There is your text with an image over it with no background as a PNG. And you can use this anywhere. I actually did this exact thing, like I said, for a lot of my thumbnails where I, I want to add a little bit of texture to my text. And I'm sure in Photoshop you could do that easier than just what I just showed you. But in Pixlr, if you want a, a quick and easy free way to do something, uh, this is the way to do it. Like I said, I will put a link down in the description. That is going to do it for this video. I hope you learned something. Um, I, I couldn't find a lot of tutorials on how to do this, so I had to kind of figure it out myself. It, it's pretty easy once you get into it. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments, but thanks for watching, guys.